So I just had to focus the camera. I just realized like halfway through that I wasn't focused, but nonetheless, we're still we're still rolling. my channel and today I am going to be putting on this wig right here I am in a rush per usual I feel like every time I start recording I am in a rush so I got about two hours but I still also have to do my makeup let's take this off braids so i'm gonna get ready to do my ball cap method if you guys haven't seen that i will have a link below you guys can check that out so i'll be back okay so now that my ball cap is one Okay, so it looks a lot better than it did before because I put the makeup on there. So, so I have to pull it back a little bit. Make sure they're sitting. So, so far, so good. I'm going to apply gold hold this is the liquid gold so i'm just gonna be putting that on just one layer not too much and then i'm gonna put lay down my lace and then i'm gonna spray my even um lace bond this is the supreme i'm gonna put it up on a popsicle stick because the last time i did this it was so it was so messy and i honestly kind of messed it up a little bit so this time I'm being a little bit more careful and applying it this way. And so far so good. I was putting it on straight from the bottle on my previous video. I don't know if you guys seen it. I was in such a rush, but this time I'm in a rush, but this wig doesn't need much done to it. It's a synthetic wig, so I don't have to flat iron it. I don't have to, you know, do anything major to it. The most I'm probably going to do is make sure that she's flat and on. So, so it does say do, use a thin layer, but honestly, I think it works best for me when I kind of like make it a little thick and then I put the wig on because it, my last wig stayed on for almost two, three weeks. Like I was so shocked. It does say it's a temporary hold, but honey, I was doing everything under the sun with that wig and she stayed on, okay? Make sure that it's nice and flat, like the glue is an even layer before I lay her down. So I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm just placing it and then I'm gonna make sure that um, it's done. And I also use my skin protectant before I even put on my wig cap because I definitely don't like when it's itchy and things like that. So I'm just gonna blow dry it on cool. So I only like blow dry that just a little bit because somehow I don't know what it is about this glue, but it works best when it's still a little bit wet. In my opinion, I don't know if um I just love the way it sticks in. As they say, it is a temporary hold, but this holds a very long time. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna get ready and put my elastic band on. So 
so I am starting on my makeup. I I said I already started out by doing my eyebrows. Um, I am about to get ready and put on these lashes. These are I and the these are their Lux Mink collection, and I believe this is in the style three. I'm about to just get ready and put these on really quick. I already put some mascara on because we're doing a natural look. I don't have time to do like the whole dramatic look, so I'm just gonna do a summertime quick and easy foundation routine. I'm gonna be using a lot of powder and a lot of spray. I'm gonna be taking, this is INV as well. This is their Super Strong Hole 3D, and I absolutely, oh, I almost dropped it. I absolutely love this eyelash glue, so I'm gonna put some onto my actual eyelid. I haven't worn lashes in quite some time, so it's 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 different. So I just had to focus the camera. I kind of I just realized like halfway through that I wasn't focused, but nonetheless, we're still we're still rolling. Got about 30 more minutes, so that means I gotta finish up my makeup, and also I have to finish up my wig. So girl, I ended up putting on some press ones, and they're so cute that I cut to size to my fingers. I like long nails, don't get me wrong, but um, I'm a chef at the end of the day, so I have to do a lot of cooking, a lot of chopping, and I liked the classy short look. I just can't wear them like that. I just can't wear them all the time. I wish I could wear them all the time. Okay, seriously, get serious, girl. Get serious, drink some water. Oh, it was just enough in that cup. So I'm gonna use my um, Cover FX. This is the mattifying primer. You cannot go wrong with the mattifying primer. My face gets super oily during the summer. So where I'm going? I'm going to the Bridgerton Experience. Um, I'm super excited about it because I watched the whole entire season of Bridgerton and I fell in love with it. I fell in love with Bridgerton. Like, ah, something about it that was like everything to me. Maybe that time frame, it was like everything to me. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that was my past life. I don't know, something about it. Maybe I've always been a queen. That's how I look at it. So, so boom, she's in. So I'm going to put either my Laura Mercier, I'm going to put some of this uh, powder on top of my primer. And I'm not going to go crazy with this. I'm going to be taking my crown. This is a C518 brush and it's huge. I'm just going to be taking a little bit of that powder and going into the parts that it tends to sweat. So it, it's mainly my T-zone. Everything else don't really sweat, duh. No. So, I'm gonna try to get as much makeup on underneath this thing as I possibly can, so I won't have to leave that little mark. Right here is fine. And then I'm gonna take my All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm going to spray my face. And then I'm going to take my Make It Last. This is by Milani. I'm gonna take that one and I'm gonna spray that right on top. Mmm, smells so good. 
we want to make sure that this makeup is going to last this is cover girls this is the matte v7 this is last 12 hours apparently last 12 hours and i haven't tried this one yet this is cover girl true blend matte made foundation comfort matte transfer resistant so this is supposed to be like summer proof okay and i hope it's my shade i haven't tried it out i actually bought this online and that can get real tricky okay to take it on back of my hand and i'm not going to take as much off i mean on to my hand i'm just basically tapping it before i put it on just to make sure that it is my true tone so far so good okay all right i'm not gonna put much of this on i'm just going to make sure that at least it's on there so And I'm really hoping that this doesn't oxidize because if it do, then we're in, we're in trouble. Right now, I only put a little light layer. Most of you know that I am a medium coverage type of girl, so I don't really go too much on the foundation per se. Because I just like a really light feel to my makeup and I definitely want it to look way natural. So far, she's giving. I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I actually just recently started using NARS. This is in the shade Cafe. This is Dark One Cafe. It's a little orange for me, so I'm just gonna put those in the inner corners. I'm gonna blend this first, and then I'm gonna go in with my um, Pro Conceal in the shade Espresso. So look at this beauty blender. This is huge, right? It's the size of my hand. Like most of you know, the beauty blenders are not this big. This is actually a duro, I think it's called duro blend. So it's pretty big and it's super, super soft. And underneath, just a little. Just enough. And then I'm gonna go in with this espresso. That um, NARS concealer, I'm gonna put a little bit more right here. The coverage of the NARS and the consistency of that Pro Conceal is amazing. That's good. That is actually super, super good. So I'm gonna go in with my crayon case, chalk dust in the letter Y. And I'm going to take the powder puff that comes with it. I actually love using the powder puff to set out, to set my concealer. So I'm gonna blend it one last time before I go in with my powder puff. And I'm just gonna blend that in. I'm going to take my um, Contrasition Notebook by the Crown Case. Also, this is Bobby right here. This is a Royal Lang Nichols 101 brush. It's a powder brush. And I'm gonna be contouring with that. So since I'm not, I'm gonna uh, get ready and wipe all of this off. I'm gonna be taking a bottle of my beauty blender and basically pressing it in. I said the bottom of the regular beauty blender and just blending it in. I just wanted it to bake just for a second before I start the spraying process. So I'm just blending it into my skin. And of course the beauty blender is damp so that's why it's so squishy like this and then of course i'm gonna take my powder and cut those cheeks okay and you want to cut downwards 
giving the illusion of a slimmer face okay so remember to cut down cut down those calories cut down those carbs honey be taking my juvia's place and um, this is the zulu palette and i'm going to be taking this um shade right here i don't even know what type of brush this is this is just a clear brush i just like the fluffiness of it He's taking it on this and honestly i think the fluffier the brushes the better the blend so sometimes a firm brush is good for like whenever you're doing a full face of um like this is more of a firmer but still yet fluffy brush and i believe that this is really good when you're just trying to do a quick uh, powder and a press at the same time it works very very well with pressing those powder in and also blending it out whereas a fluffy brush is just ever so lightly giving you that airbrush finish without giving you any harsh lines or things like that i use a softer softer brush whenever i'm doing like my blush my contour underneath my eyes and things like that but when it comes to firmer brushes that's foundation that's uh full face powders and things like that this contour edition palette once more i'm going to be taking bricky which is this one that's all messed up this is like my third palette like i run through these two shades all the time so i'm just going to use this to basically blend out my entire face blend it all together and this is basically going to seal the deal but I still take my time to make sure that I'm blending properly because sometimes I can over blend like right here. Sometimes you don't want to make sure that that blush is just blushing through, okay? You want to make sure that you're blending everything out and together. So, so far, so good. She's giving. So, boom. Now that everything is blended together, I am going to spray so the gods okay i'm gonna use my make it last and all nighter trust me these two together magical okay so i'm just gonna be spraying my entire face and then i'm gonna be taking this huge beauty blender and basically packing that product in so so i'm gonna be taking my beauty blender and pressing that in she's cute yeah. okay oh i feel it like sticking already and i have the fan on i don't know if you can hear that or not but i've been having the fan on this entire time because i just want to make sure that uh i'm not sweating and i'm not hot or anything isn't happening like while I'm doing my makeup because that will be terrible. So I'm taking this brown liner. This is a uh, eyeliner. I don't even know if I was recording all this time, but uh, I hope so because I looked up and this wasn't on. So I don't know if I even talked about the highlighter. I use my Academy of Colors. Is this? This is by Strobe and Glow. I absolutely love this palette, and I use these two shades that I love each other. I just feel like it's it always giving me a very soft glow that I absolutely love and it just never steer me on. Right now I'm just putting it on my lip liner. I'm gonna take my this is the Nika K um lip shine in the shade Toupee. So here is the hair she's giving. Look at that. You see this? The curls, it is super soft and bouncy. I'm gonna put my um, headband on until I get there because honey, I don't have time for anything to happen until I get there. And I just wanna make sure that she's nice and laid because God forbid that anything happens. With my dress, I'm going to be having it to one side so it can give that, 
you know classy look so i hope that you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial she's still giving something very much something and i love it and i hope that you guys do too i'm gonna show you guys some clips from the event so just stay tuned and don't forget to like comment and subscribe on this video and yeah thank you guys for watching bye